we have got some windows to build. And by we, I mean me. Um, I've drawn up the window frames right here. So when we go inside the cabin and we look at the windows, which is a little tricky, um, I've left a quarter inch reveal from the timber frame itself around the window and the window liner. So that way there will be a little bit of a step that goes into the window, but I didn't want to bring my window liners in and then case them all out and cover up my nice timber frame joinery here. So that is actually going to be the window casing. The liner is just going to butt up against that. And the only part that'll come through is the window sill here. So I built the frame that'll be flush on the bottom and then you can see that the window sill will slide in from the front and it'll cover the gap and everything between the window liner and the bottom. So it'll look kind of, you know, more, more built in there. So there'll be a little sill coming through and then the timbers will just act as the trim. And so this window here, I didn't finish drawing it up, but we're going to have a mullion in the middle and it'll have two openers. So that each, each piece of glass is going to be framed with a wood frame and I'll have window hinges. And I've never built a window with hinges and all this hardware before. So that's going to be fun. And uh, the front window is just going to be a picture window, no opener. And then I'm going to make this little triangular window up here just to let in a little bit more light. And as you can see, I'm starting to draw up a little loft here. Not 100% sure whether or not I'm going to go ahead with that right now just because I think it might crowd the space a little bit. It's already a small, small little bunky. But if we do put a loft in there and for the summertime when it gets really hot, we're going to want to have an opener in that too. So that's going to open hinge on the side and it's going to open out like that just to be able to let hot air out through the, through the high point in the ceiling there. So yeah, three windows we got to build and you can see I've also been drawing up uh, a front porch that's going to be in a future project as well so lots to be doing on this awesome little cabin let's get into the shop all right so all the wood that i'm using to build these windows is like wood that i've been squirreling away for for years uh big timber lots that i got deals on i've just had stored away in my upper loft here so i'm going to resaw these I think they're four by sixes and I'm obviously trying to use good lumber ish, you know, no knots, especially for window frames, but you know, I only got what I got. So I have to try and orient the wood in the best possible way to kind of hide knots and that sort of stuff. But hopefully when I split them in half, there'll be a one good side at least. All right, so now I'm going to start cutting my two inch rebates where the uh, frame of the window sash or whatever the hell you call it will sit inside there with some weather stripping. So.
So if you're wondering what this little saw kerf is for, it's for uh, weather stripping. So this is a little off cut of just standard door weather stripping that you'd put in a door jam on an exterior door. So it's got this little rubber thing that slides into that crack right there. So there'll be a continuous weather stripping all the way around these frames. So when the windows come in, they close up against it and seal it. So it has to be a half inch deep and a half inch back from whatever edge you want it to be flush with. And then that'll give me a nice airtight seal. And then I'm going to add a flashing that goes around the bottom here so that this part of the window where the frames come in and nest in here will be all protected so no water can rot that. And then this will be inside the building, obviously. Pizza. You miss me? Uh, thanks, buddy. Don't buddy me. <laughs> So this is going to be the mullion that sits in the middle of the window and then the hey, window on why the side are you yelling? Gonna... What? Why are you yelling? So this is going to be the mullion which sits in the middle of the window and then each side closes in on that. So that little slots for the weather stripping. So it'll have a double opener like this. But the problem is this piece here had a big loose knot in it. And that's going to be on the outside of the window, which looks kind of crappy. So I'm going to rip that section off and then use a scrap here and glue a little piece on to try and match the grain and look better, you know? Just working with what I got. As am I. Samurai, why are you using a push stick? You used a push stick on your mom last night. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my clamps, plant boy? Yeah, I called you plant boy. They're right over there. <laughs> Almost got him. There you go. Fun to do it myself. What artistry? Yeah, just make your life easy. Look at that grain, baby. That's some OG right there. Old growth.
sashy! Ah, get it? Sassy, sashy, window sash. No? Leave the jokes to me. The window makers would understand the joke. Time to get sashy! Yeah. No? Second time didn't work? <laughs> no. Didn't do it for me the first time, didn't do it for me the second. Shut your face. You know what? It's probably better for you to keep the hearing protection off so you can hear how terrible your jokes actually are. Oh! Yeah. See, that was a joke. No, that was pretty good. Yeah. But it was it was predictable. Mm, no. It was predictable. Like, I it, saw it coming. It played on the theme of your hearing protection. Okay. It was genius. More cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> More cameraman. <laughs> Okay. It's going to your head. <laughs> I remember the days when I could do no wrong on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> now look at me. <laughs> they didn't last long. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up those inside corners a little bit. But, oh no, that's a pretty nice looking joint. So this is the bottom part of the sash, right? So top of the window, bottom. Water, condensation, rain. It's gonna come down the glass and it's gonna hit this little lip right here. So we wanna bevel that so that the water drains off. So I'm just gonna do that with my block plane here. Just get about a, I don't know. 15 degrees or something like that doesn't need to be super steep for the water to shed it'll just just a little bit You just shove some uh, glue and sawdust in there. Sawdust and glue in there. Because I'm not a pathetic hack. I mean, yeah, that works for some people. <laughs> you know, humility really is an underrated quality in men. No more crack. Hey guys, 
What do you think of the window? Whoa! This looks totally cool, Dad. You like it? It looks any cooler than any window. See, it'll I have see. hinges like that that open up. Whoa! You just need two more to do that one? Yep. Whoa! What do you think, Logan? You got four today. It's epic! <laughs> Yeah, Daddy's gonna forge some latches for it. Nice. I can't wait. Okay, be careful though, because it can drop. I can't wait to go to the gem, property with the gem. cabin finished. <sighs> Not too many finishes you can do that with. <laughs> Pass it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Wanna hook it to my veins. So, once I get a coat of the Odie's oil on here, the windows will be protected from the weather. The negative is that I called in my order for the glass panels, and due to the supply chain shortage worldwide right now, it's gonna take two months to get our glass instead of, you know, two or three weeks like it usually takes. Uh, so we're gonna have to come up with a temporary, you know, put some plastic over the window frames until we can glaze the glass panels into them, which kind of sucks because, you know, that's what's keeping the weather out is the glass. But we can still install the frames and continue working uh, on other parts of the cabin. So we're excited to get these things loaded up and head up to the property and install them. The other dilemma that I have come up with a solution for is latches for these windows. Now I looked online and there's some stuff that might have worked, but I thought in the theme of building every part of this cabin, I'm just gonna hand forge some latches. So I found a sweet YouTube video, which I'll link in the next one. And I'm gonna forge my own latches out of some steel rod that should look beautiful on these windows and also function really well. So looking forward to that. Don't miss it, because it's coming in the next video. Until then guys. Summer out.